All right, so this is a quick setup guide for SiteCrafter Pro. So the first thing we need to do is to download DV5. So at the moment, we're in the alpha stage. So we're going to go ahead and click over here. And then we're going to scroll down and here it is. Okay, so this process is going to be the same on pretty much every website you get started with. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I can see it's right here. The next step now is to go to our website, which is over here on this tab. So this website here does not have anything going on. In fact, let me just show you quickly so that you can see that this is running a pretty much a blank WordPress setup. Okay, so with that now, I'm gonna come back over here and we are going to go ahead and um, go to appearance and then themes. So this stage now is installing Divi 5. So I'm gonna click on add theme and then click on upload. Now I know I've downloaded this to my downloads folder. So, and in fact, here it is, double click on that and then go ahead and click on install now. Okay, so once this is installed, pretty much we are ready to start working with SiteCrafter Pro. Now I know sometimes it may take a bit of time depending on how fast your internet uh, speed is. Okay, so now we are loaded up. We're gonna click on activate. And then pretty much I need to um, enter my credentials to activate my license. But I'm not going to spend too much time with activating the license. This is ideal if you want to get all your updates from Elegant Themes. But for now, I'm going to leave that stage. Next, we are now going to go ahead and refresh this page so you can see that our theme is active. So as you can see here, our theme is active, but there isn't much going on right there. Okay, so the next step now is to go ahead and install our SiteCrafter Pro child theme. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to appearance and then click on themes. Next, we're going to click on add theme and then click on upload. Now I know mine is on my desktop, so I'm gonna come over here to my desktop. There we go. And there we go, SiteCrafter Pro, double click on that and then click on install now. Now in your case, you may have downloaded it after you purchased it. You can just install it the way I am doing right now. Let's go ahead now and click on activate. And now we have activated SiteCrafter Pro. This is packed with all the features that you need for building your websites super fast. So back over here, if I do a quick refresh, you're going to notice that, you know, nothing much really has happened, but everything has been installed correctly. All right, so what we need to do first is to make sure that we set up a few things here, and that is to set up all our fonts. Now, what I usually like doing is uh, setting all this up over here in our customizer. So I'm gonna click on customize, and then we're going to go to our general settings, typography, and this is where we're going to set our font. So the heading font I'm going to uh, add here is uh, pretty much Poppins or even Inter. It doesn't really matter uh, what font you use. It's up to you what we're going to use. So I'm just gonna scroll until I find Inter. And there we go. It should be somewhere close here, Inter. There we go. So I'm gonna select enter for my title and you can see here it has been activated. The next thing I need to do is to make sure that I do the same thing for my body font. So I'm gonna come over here and again, I'm gonna set this to enter. Okay, there we go. I think I must have gone too fast. And there we go. So now my font is set to enter, which is fantastic. All I have to do now is to click on publish and we are good to go. So the next step now is to have some sort of a reference as you are designing your website. So there's two pages here. There's the style guide, which shows you the size of the headings, as you can see here, the font weight. It also shows you all the colors for your buttons and animation as well. And we also have our, our colors here. These are neutral colors. And these are the main colors for our website. And here it also shows you the shadows. So that's the style guide. We also have another page, which is the reference. So this is ideal if you want to make sure you take a look and see what classes you need to use as you're designing your website. So as you can see here, if you want fluid text, you type in SK. 
and I will show you how to install these two pages first. So let's go ahead and do that. And by the way, this step needs to be done on every website that you build. So we're gonna come over here to pages, click on add page. And I'm gonna call this page style guide. But of course you can call this page, you know, whatever you want. And this page here is ideal if you want to show your clients um, the colors for your website and pretty much what, um, uh, what guide you're using for this. Next, I'm gonna click on use DV Builder. Okay, so we need to import our style guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on import export. And then I'm going to click on import and then choose my file. Now my file is in the downloads. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my downloads folder. And here it is. So there we go, we have our style guide. I'm gonna double click on that. And this should now import my style guide. Now remember, all you need selected here is replace existing content, but in fact, you don't even need that because we don't have content here anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and this should import my style guide and I don't need to do anything else. I'm just gonna go ahead now and save this page and publish. Okay, the next page we need is the uh, reference. So I'm gonna click on exit. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and add another page by coming over here to WordPress. So you can see here my style guide has been, uh, has been saved. Now I'm gonna go to add page. And this here is going to be my reference. Oops. With that selected, I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier on. And we're gonna come over here to import exports, click on import, and then I'm just gonna click here on import. In fact, I need to click here to choose the file and downloads folder. And the reference is right here. Double click on that and then click on import builder layout. So now that we have our reference, we can just hit publish like how we did before. And pretty much we have two of the most important pages that we need on our site. All right, so back over here now, let's test and see if everything is working well. So I'm just gonna delete this page here. And I also don't need this publish, uh, public privacy policy. <laughs> All right, so with that gone, let's add another page and let's just call this page home like that. And then click on use Divi Builder. Okay, so this is gonna be my home page, but this is mainly for testing purposes. So I wanna go ahead and click on these two columns. So my first one here is going to be text, and you can see right away the text is very small, and I'm going to do the same. In fact, I can just duplicate this so you can see what we are doing. So I'm gonna go ahead, drag this over here, and while I have to have this selected, I'm just gonna come in here and just show you that everything is working okay. So let's first of all add heading one and heading two. Maybe we can just add heading three as well. Okay, so now that we have our headings, what you may want to do is just go ahead now, select that, set this to heading one, set this one here to heading two, set this one here to heading three, like that. Okay, great. So now that we have all our headings and this is our paragraph, so if we wanna make sure now that everything is working great and our font is all fluid and responsive, all you have to do now is to come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then all we need to add is our class called SK. Now look at that, everything now is fluid and responsive, and you don't even need to do anything to your text in order for you to start designing your website. Okay, so with that now, there's another trick that I want to show you that will enable you to work super fast. So since this is the site you're working on, what you need to do is to come over here to our default preset, okay? And then you want to add or new preset from current styles, okay? That's what you wanna do. And then you just wanna call this SK, um, text, but it's up to you what you want to name it. In fact, let's have uh, small, uh, small letters, SK text, or you can call this SK fluid text. In fact, that may even be better if you call it that. 
assign this as default. Now, this is very important because you don't have to worry about uh, messing around with your text anymore. Now, while I was speaking, I don't know if you noticed this, but this text, this text adjusted to um, the size because this is now default. So if we want to go in now and add a text module, as we're building our site, you're going to notice now that our text now is pretty much perfect. So I want to show you something very, uh, very interesting. I'm going to hit publish just to show you that our text here is now fluid. I'm going to hit preview. And then I'm just going to hit right click and inspect. Right. So now with that inspected, if I drag this, now watch the headings as they get smaller and smaller, depending on the screen size. Do you see that? It's very subtle. Even the paragraph text is also changing size. Okay, so this is what we call fluid text. So it's very, very important that you set up your preset over here. Now, there's also something that is also important when you're using Site Crafter, and that is if you want to make any changes to the original file, then what you want to do is to exit out of here. And then you want to go to WordPress and you want to go to theme editor. Okay, so I'm just going to say I understand. So this is the main file that is running pretty much all the uh, settings on your website. So right now you can see we have these primary colors here. We have this primary color, we have the primary dark, we have the primary light and so on. So what you want to do at this stage now as you're designing a website for your client is to head over to a site like Coolers and choose your colors from there. There we go, it's this one right here. So this is where you wanna come in and start generating your colors. So I'm gonna hit start generator and then let's say you start building your, you know, your colors. Perhaps maybe this is your main color. You can lock it and then you want to copy it like that. So this is where now you'd come and add it over here. So you'd go in and add your primary color, primary dark, primary light, and so on. Now, once all your colors are all set, pretty much you're good to go. You don't have to really mess around with uh, your status colors and also your neutral colors. You don't really have to change them unless now you're designing this on an advanced stage where you know exactly what is going on. Now, if you want to change your sizes, because we have quite a lot of uh, typography scales here, and this is using clamp, you can always come over here and change these clamp values, and these will pretty much update across the whole website. But you need to know what you're doing as you're playing around with all of this. So you can see here we have our heading XL and so on. So how do you use this you know, in, uh, in real life? Okay, so as you're designing your website, I'm just going to get rid of this now. So as you're designing your website, I am going to exit from here. In fact, let's hit preview so we can have this open. Okay, great. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to our dashboard and let's go to our home page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and let's go to our home page and click on edit with DV. Okay, so we are here now on our home page. So what you want, uh, what you may want to do now is to test this and see uh, pretty much how you're going to uh, design your site. So for example, if I go in here, add my text. So I may be at this stage thinking, okay, I want to add a heading. How do I um, add a heading here? So you make sure you have all your text like that and you'd come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and you can say heading dash L. Now, do you see that? Heading dash L is heading large. Now, we can also do extra large like that. Now, what's really cool here is I can also say font, and I'm gonna say font 700. Now, do you see that? That is now the, the weight of the font. Now, how am I doing this? Where am I getting all this heading and font, blah, blah, blah. What you need to do now, remember that page that I set up, which is the reference? This is where you'd come and take a look and see what the CSS class is. So for example, fluid text. Remember, we used SK. Here it is. Boom, X SK. Now let's say 
you want your fluid headings, you'll notice that I've actually used heading XL, which is that, okay? So you can also go heading medium. I can copy that just to show you that it works. So instead of heading XL, I'm just going to say heading medium. Do you see that? It changes. And pretty much wherever I use this across the whole website, that is how it's going to look. Font sizes. Okay, font weight. I'm going to close that. Again, if I come over here, you can see our font weights. This is font 900. This is the highest uh, weight. I can always copy that, come over here, change this to... You see that? So let's go large. And I may also want to center this. Boom, centered. You see that? Now, I can also do so many things here. I can add backgrounds. I can add uh, shadows. All you have to do is to come over here to the reference and take a look at this. Okay, so we have all your paddings. We have all your border radius, shadows, grids, flexbox, and so on. So the idea here is once you um, get, a, I mean, get to uh, memorize these, it's pretty much very, very easy to design your website super fast because everything is all class-based and this is the best way to start uh, using this as you're designing your website. So this is a quick guide to getting up and running with um, Sidecrafter Pro. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.